What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king. Welcome you back to more Let's Play Ghost of Tsushima. In the last episode, we began the legend of Uchitsune and are in the search currently for his legendary longbow. Now, on the way, as we were being led from place to place, we stumbled upon this shrine, which is called the Mending Rock Shrine. And I've decided that we're going to start this episode by taking care of it first, before we go to what is hopefully the final location for this particular quest. Now, we're actually pretty close to it because I was able to just fast travel back here. And from here, we can get a move on. So let's squeeze on through here. And if I remember correctly, this is actually one of the more difficult shrines in the game to not, like, die on. <laughs> so I'm going to see if I can get through it without a single death. I don't know. I just remember specifically dying, like, twice on this shrine. But also, it could have been the fact that it was, you know, my first playthrough, and I was still bad at the game, and who knows. But I do remember struggling on this one for a little bit. I think this is the the shrine I was, like, sitting there and, like, thinking, do I really like the platforming in this game? And, you know, like I said, it's still a weaker aspect of the game, but it's not that bad. It's passable. All right, let's land on that, please. Ooh, that could have been rough. Well, or you could just do that. Okay, out. Hmm. Okay, see, yep. This is, I, I should have actually gone down. Gosh dang it. I took a lot of damage from that. Hold on, let me use my resolve there a little bit. I think the rest of that I can recoup from my next fight. Okay. Gosh, I don't want, want to fall all the way to the bottom one. Okay, this is, this is kind of rough, actually. I keep forgetting the fact that I need to drop, not go up. Okay, now I need to go up. Um, how high up can I go, though? You know, let's do that. All the way up here, maybe there is something special. Yes, flowers. Okay, now go back down. Over. There we go. Oh my goodness, this one is super precarious. But this, yeah, this really isn't bad. I don't know why I was so hell-bent on just being annoyed by this one in particular. Oh, here we go. We got this part. Hup. Each one... None of these will fall out from under me, right? Oh, okay. Watch out, seagull. Whoa. Holy crap. Okay, maybe this is a little more dangerous than I thought. Everything's okay. Whew. There we go. All right, down the slope. All right, let's crawl under that. I love, the, I love these guys. Look at them. <laughs> That's a face only a mother could love. All right, let's go down here. Beautiful. Let's make this jump. All right, awesome. Holy cow, this one is treacherous, man. Like, way more treacherous than the other shrines we've done so far. Most of them feel like you... They actually feel like there's places you could land and just take some damage but not outright die. This is just a bunch of bottomless pits. <laughs> like I said. Okay. Wow, I mis-aimed that jump very poorly. Hup. At least I got my health back. All right, now then, let's continue over this way. Whoo, that was rough. Let's see. Now, luckily, the game doesn't treat it like it's a full death when you do that. It just kind of resets you from where you fell from. So that's good. Oh, okay. Get yeah, get on the get on the thing you're supposed to be balancing on, Jin. There you go. Beautiful. Oh well, yeah, so like jump to set his feet. I know it's game logic, but still. Oh, boy. Yep. Yep. Oh, this bridge sucks. There we go. Wow, what a shrine that was. And we've been given the charm of Okinanushi, the charm of the Kami of Medicine. Let's have a look at this one. Slowly recover health while out of combat. If you frequently find yourself ending fights with very low health, it is a great charm for that. But otherwise, I don't highly recommend it. I don't think it's all that good. I mean, like I said, again, it's great for like regaining health while you're exploring. But if you honestly are at low health all the time, eh. The charm of Amaterasu is just so much better because of... Because of the fact that it just gives you health as a reward for killing things. 
I mean, I feel like it's just, it's something that you're just going to benefit from so much more. And then the fact that you just passively get resolve as you kill things as well, it's like, eh, I don't know. I can't really justify having something that gives me health while I'm not fighting. I feel like there's so many more instances where I could, you know, I, I would be okay regardless. <laughs> like, avoiding fights and, you know, just healing yourself out of resolve and things like that. But I don't know. I guess it could probably be pretty darn useful if you were on like an extremely hard difficulty playthrough. Like you could equip it, let yourself heal, and then unequip it. That'd be kind of a nice strategy. But okay, whoa, we almost went off the edge there. Okay, where is this mountain? Let's see. So that's the rice paddies we were near. So I do know that we saw it very close to here. But I just need to get my bearings and see exactly where it's at. Hmm. Because we came up from up around... Oh, hello there. Don't do anything bare. Thank you. Woo, that could have been bad. All right. Give me your predator hides, please. Thank you. And, okay, so we came up from here, from the rice paddies, and then I think we went over this way. Just kind of retracing my steps from the last episode. Oh, I thought I thought that was a flower there for a second, but evidently it was not. Um, can I retrace my... St st yep, there it is, right over there. Okay, I was correct. Kage, come on. Let's head off over towards the mountain. Because this is definitely the one. It's got the twin peaks. Looming in the distance. All right, let's see what this leads to. I would very much like to have an archery fight, but I get the feeling we're going to actually have a fight fight because of this. And it's like archer versus archer. It just makes too much sense, but... Yeah, okay. This is definitely it. And that down there seems incredibly important. This is a gorgeous little area, though. The bow must be there. I think that's it. Yep, I can see it. Richardson's longbow. Where am I? Your bow is cursed. You will see nothing but death to the end of your days. Alright, let's do this thing then. Hold on, I need to switch stances here. Ow, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me switch. Can I please switch stances? Thank you. Okay, my goodness, it was not letting me. There we go. Alright, let's get a few hits in. Oh, this is not the right armor to have on at all. Beautiful. Alright, let's get those hits in, and then we should get some resolve back from that. No, I don't, dude. After that, I'll worry about curses. Perfect parry. Beautiful. You see, the demon will haunt you. I feel like the only demon haunting me right now is you, sir. Oh, I took a hit there. Oop, that was bad. Let's use our resolve. Oh my goodness. Woo! Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Oh, okay, I was uh, expecting that to be one I'd have to dodge. Thank you. But who was the demon man? Was that the 
thing that Uchitsune shot, and then we just finally killed it? That's That seems like the most reasonable explanation. I don't know. But we got ourselves a longbow. All right, let me show you guys how the longbow works. It's pretty darn cool. So, longbow has a much longer drawing time, obviously. However, it has much more accuracy at range. On top of that, it's got your, you've got your two arrows here. Your heavy arrow and your explosive arrow. Explosive arrows do what they say. They explode on contact. They have a little bit of a, dam a blast radius to them. They'll damage anything around them. So if you shoot uh, in pretty much close proximity to a bunch of enemies, it'll hurt all of them. And if you shoot someone directly, it'll most likely kill them. The heavy arrows are really, really nice still, however, because they will go through the helmets of helmeted enemies. So you still want those. You got those archers with the helmets that you're trying to shoot from behind at a long distance and you can't get an angle on their face. That is what the heavy arrows are for. You will actually find that to come in handy a lot. The only difference, of course, is that the longbow does not have nearly as much ammo as the halfbow does. But you will still find that the longbow is pretty darn good. And we're definitely going to want to upgrade it as soon as possible. But with all of that done, we can finally start heading back towards... Kyoshi Springs, and actually, more specifically, we can head on over towards Sensei Ishikawa. Now, I do have an undiscovered location over there. We'll take care of that a little bit later. Let's go find Ishikawa at his dojo. Now that we have this bow, this is going to be very, very helpful for the coming fights. Now, I, I, took a, I took a lot of hits in that battle. I was really not super prepared. Also, I just couldn't get my bearings at the beginning because I wanted the freaking stone stance, and the game was like, no, you are stuck on the water stance. And that was not going to help me against anyone in any of those scenarios because you have to have the stone stance for the freaking duels you have to still annoyed that it wasn't an archery duel though that would have been so cool um hold on i'm going the wrong way we need to go up we need to go up go up and around there we go up the mountain This is the place. Alright, Ishikawa, where are you at? Also, I like how he's got the hydrangeas as well. There he is! Can I, like, have the arrows that he's shooting? Eh, probably not. Alright, let's talk to him. Sensei, any word on Tomoe? Yes, but I'm not sure you are ready for her. You make her sound like a demon. That's not far off the mark. Tomoe is fearless. She is not samurai, but she is a born killer. I know the type. No, you do not. Come. Where are we headed? An archery range. The locals saw Mongols training there. I suspect Tomoe was with them. If Tomoe is truly fearless, she'd make a useful ally. A starving leopard is fearless too. Leopards can't master your way of the bowl. Let it go, Sakai. She will never join us. Why does she turn against you? I took a risk sharing all I knew with her. When she betrayed my trust, I punished her. It must have been harsh. You saw what she did to the prisoners at Fort Nakayama. That was no mistake. That was a choice. And not the first time she's made it. We don't know it was her fault. You don't. I do. Sounds kind of unfortunate. I mean, she's clearly very strong, but... We can't get her to join our side. I guess there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You have to climb to get there. Sure you can make it, Sensei? I guess we're not getting an answer. All right, let's go. What are you waiting for, Sakai? I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Jeez. Beautiful. Where is he? Huh. Well, let's... What, what the frick? Not bad, Sakai. You said the only way up was to climb. No. I said you had to climb. It's good exercise. 
Arrows, Mongo, and Japanese. If they were here, they're long gone. We might pick up their trail by the practice target. There is no target. Near that watchtower. Not bad, Sensei. Find out where they went. I'm gonna grab some arrows really quickly. And let's head on Mexico. over. I'm going, I'm going. That's a really far shot. 70 meters? Holy crap. That's like... Jeez. That's really freaking far. Alright. Uh... I have that, thank you. Oh, jeez. Okay, hold on. Hello, what's up? Let me kill you. And you. Oh, I missed that shot. That's okay. What's up, dude? I'm gonna... Let's get rid of the archer first. Woo! Okay, we're good. Oh, we got doggies. Hold on. Let's kill this guy. I don't know why Jin said that twice, and I missed my shot there. Woo! Puppy. All right, get out of here. No. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Hey! The freaking dog's got more dodging skills than the Mongols do. Jeez. Okay, well, we got some kills in there. Let me grab all of this stuff. Can I have my arrows, please? No arrows. Ugh. Resting your bow arm, Sensei. Observing your response to an ambush. You knew those Mongols were still here. Yes. You didn't think to mention it? If you can't handle a few Mongols, what good will you be against Tomoe? This is war, not a test. And how many wars have you fought? I'll test you as I see fit. I can see why Tomoe attacked you. <laughs> Where did she go, Sakai? I'll look around. A lot of tracks. A dozen men. Maybe more. Follow the trail. Alright. Let's do it. If we catch her, do not wait for me. Attack and keep moving. Or you'll die. Do you plan to use your bow this time? If we find her. And if not? Can you take a dozen enemy soldiers without me? If I must. Good answer. <laughs> I guess so. Right, let's just stay on the trail. Oh, this already looks like we're coming up on the place. Since it does actually sound like he's struggling. Oh, that's a lot of enemies over there. And it's definitely where we need to be. All right, I need arrows. I need lots and lots of arrows. Where the frick are arrows? Look at them. They're practicing what Tomoe taught them. Murdering the innocent. Can I get more arrows? Thank you. Beautiful. All right, no more killing people on my watch. Don't move. Gosh dang it, you. Come here. No. Die, please. There we go. Oh, gosh. That was close. Whoa! Hello. Wasn't expecting that one. Die, thank you. All right, where's the other guy? Get out of here. Oh, that's a big guy. What's up? Boom. Beautiful. All right, we got all of our resolve and health pack from that f embarrassing display against the Tengu earlier. Did you see a Japanese woman with these Mongols? I couldn't believe it. She was giving them orders. What did she say? Something about the Sensei and the hot springs. That's all I heard, my lord. Forgive me. The hot springs? That's not good. Hold on. Grab that. Let me grab these. And let's talk to Ishikawa. If we can. I taught a monster how to hunt. 
They heard Tomoe giving orders to the Mongols. She mentioned Hiyoshi Springs. She's just getting started. Sakai, the way you fight, it's not your uncle's way, and it's not mine. We've never faced an enemy like this. I do what I must to defeat them. A samurai is a guardian. Not a killer who darts around like a thief. You didn't see Komoda. I've seen enough! I know it was brutal, but I won't train another monster. I know. I won't let that happen. If Tomoe is going after Yoshi Springs, I need to prepare. So do you. I'll see you at my dojo, Sakai. All right, and we're going to continue the tale of Sensei Ishikawa, probably in the next episode. This one's not quite done yet. What I'm actually going to do, just to kind of cap this one off, also we got ourselves Charm of Efficiency, 50% increase in knocking reload speeds. That could be nice, coupled with our current armor. But uh, in the meantime, I am actually going to fast travel to the Golden Temple, because it makes the most sense to go there. Okay, and while we're here, we're going to make some upgrades. So let's first head on over to the gift altar so we can stock up on supplies more, since that's always the lowest uh, thing. Grab a couple of those. Perfect. Next up, okay, we can't get anything at the swordsmith, but if I head on over here to the armorer, they might actually have something of note for me. So I can only do, I can do the traveler's hire and Tadiori's armor. I think I could do... Both, actually. That would be probably pretty good. Faster knocking and reload speed, and then the rest increases the concentration meter. Hmm. Let's do the Tadiori's armor Much once. Beautiful. You need more to make and then I guess the traveler's attire can go up again. Keep you safe. I think getting it up to level 3 would be perfect. Okay, so let's now set our outfit really quickly. We're going to go Tadiori's armor, and then for the hat... I think I'm going to stick with the headband of peace that I originally had on. And last thing, let's head back on over to, I probably don't, actually I don't have any supplies for this, but I do want to at least check on what we need for the longbow to start upgrading that. Because that would actually be pretty nice to get done. Alright, longbow, let's see. So I just need a hundred more supplies to get it. And that's a pretty big increase to range and draw and damage, but that's about it. Everything else kind of stays the same. Longbow 3 is pretty big, too. Wow. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah, because stability isn't the most important thing on the longbow just because of how infrequently you're going to be shooting it anyway. Half bow increases would be nice as well, though. We'll, we'll work on all of that. We'll work on all of that. I think we'll go for a longbow upgrade next, but... In the meantime, I'm going to fast travel back to Hiyoshi Springs. Well, actually, I can just go straight to the dojo. What am I even saying? Yeah, let's do that. Let's just go straight to the dojo. And uh, we're going to call that an episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Ghost of Tsushima. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much. In the next episode, we're going to continue to work with Sensei Ishikawa to hopefully put a stop to Tomoe. So, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode very, very much, and I will see you all in the next one.